Yeah. So that's the brookie as well. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking the train out today. I'm going to Birmingham City Centre. So just to give you a bit, a bit of a backstory, uh, my brother's getting married and I still haven't got my outfit yet. And this is August, so the wedding is in September. So I don't have a lot of time. So I thought I might go to um, Birmingham Rag Market to see if I can find some fabric. And it's quite big. And so that's the reason why I'm going to stand today. So I decided not to drive. So I've left my car at the train station. I'm going to take the train to Birmingham City Centre. Parking in Birmingham is a bit of a headache, so I'm not even going to try it. It's not worth it. So I'm not driving today, so I'm just going to take the train. And the train is direct from here to town. should be about 20 minutes and it should be coming in about five minutes. <clears throat> so that's the plan for today. And hopefully I'll find the fabric that I can use to make what I need. So, yeah. Just waiting for the train. Oh dear Lord, I haven't been here in in a while. God, it's actually quite nice. This place has changed a lot since the last time I was here, so I guess that's a good sign. So I've got my ticket. I need to exit the station, so which is that way. And then I need to figure out where I'm going. I haven't got the slightest clue how to get to where I'm going. So, oh. person is just it's just massive wow that is that's impressive that is really impressive So I've seen this in person. Um, I only saw it on TV at the time. So, wow, it's more impressive in person than on TV. So, it's amazing. All right, okay, Grand Central. I haven't been here in like donkey years. It's a beautiful place. I just need to find my way around now because so hi good afternoon um if i'm trying to get to birmingham rag market yes. which place would be the best to exit the best line is see that bull there yes go to the bull okay okay yeah cross over the road go down to the bull ring right okay Ground level. okay and it. all right thank you so much thanks So, I've got some directions. So, go here. He says, 
and then go down to the bull ring and it should be there somewhere so that's more straight oh look at the back view of the bull oh, the back side is not very nice but there you go so uh I'm meant to be going somewhere here Oh, no. oh, this place has changed a lot. Some plants, some nice chairs going on as well. Looks more like an airport now, to be frank. And we are outside. Jeez! I can't believe this is boring. Jesus. I haven't been here in like. I don't know, many years. And only because it's just so difficult to come into town these days. No, except you're taking the public transport then. It's really just so difficult, so that's why I've stayed away. But a lot has changed since then. And I can't believe I'm in town. And the weather is nice today also. So that's a good thing. Um, so the guy said to go towards that way. Uh, and um, so yeah, part of the Commonwealth statues, I guess, for the games back then. So yeah, I digressed. I used to come to this TK Max a lot, but not anymore. So now this is bull ring in front of me. So he says, go down, enter the bull ring, I guess, and then go down. And that should take me to the rag market. So let's see. I hope that works. So this is mad. It's been a long time. So I'm sure they probably have like a ton of new stores that I've never seen before. But that's not why I'm here today. I'm going to focus. And then, the guy said go down. So, does that mean go down this way? Shops, dining, car park, mostly toilets. Go down this way or go down the way? All right, let me try this way. Excuse me, do you know where I can take an exit to get to the rag market? Is it here or where it's can down there, straight ahead, by that the way. coffee. Okay. And you can buy it. Yeah. Actually, out here watching the Olympics. That's, that's interesting. Right, so rag market is that way. Some boo-boos. Yo. That's amazing. I didn't know that they have this now. In Birmingham. Like some boo-boos. Oh. They have some ugly ones though. Oof. God. The colours. Oof. I don't know. Well yeah, that's not for me. Oh. 
Oh my god. And some wigs. Hello, ma. For that? 20. 20. Hello, sorry, sir. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is nice. So, I think I'm looking for something like this, which is nice. So, I'm not sure how much that would be, but maybe a different color like gold or something similar. Okay, so I just need to find the uncle that owns the shop so I can ask for the price of this one, but I think it's gone. Gone for a walk or gone somewhere. Mm -hmm. no, thank you. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. So I tried inside, tried inside there in the market, couldn't find any. So now I'm back outside and just to try my luck. Hopefully, I'll find something. There are some fabric places here, but I'm not sure they have it. Uh, so, brocade, brocade. I don't think I see anything brocade-ish here, so no. It's some laces. No. So fancy silk store. Maybe I can find what I need. Because at this point, I'm probably going to head back home without finding anything. So I'm going to try that store over there. But I need to cross. Should I do it the right way or should I just go for it? Yeah, it's one way, I'll just go for it. <laughs> Alright, let's try the fancy silk store. Hopefully, they'll find, they'll have what I need. Oof, that's a lot. Wow. I am overwhelmed and spoiled for choice. Okay. Hello. Hi. I'm looking for something um, like a brocade fabric. Do you have any? Oh, here. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thank you. I think I like the look of that one at first yeah. glance. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's so the brocade as well. Uh -huh. so yeah. Doing, yeah. Yeah. So at first glance, I like this. Do you have something more of a gold? Mm. Yeah. This I don't is like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Around here, you can have a low. Yeah. Are they all the this same price? The gold and the gold and red. red. Yeah. Like that. Oh, that's nice. This is. I think I've seen this one somewhere online yeah, before. Yeah. This is regarding pink. Pink. Well. Okay. And that's the one here. Are they all the same prices per meter? How much are they per Almost meter? This is nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. What about this one? This one is the nine ninety nine again. Nine ninety nine meter. Yes. Okay. I'll, uh, I think I'm gonna need how many will I need? About three, about three meters. So that has. Uh, That's the very new one. Is it? Yeah, yeah I like it. This is. 
Yeah. These little, this one, this one, that one, and yeah. that's it, see there. Yeah. And these two, that's yeah. the new one, right? By the way, do you take card payment? Huh? Card payment? Yes, no problem. Okay, that's good. Payment, okay, yes, that's fine. good. Okay. Um, so I might, I like this one. I might take this one. But let me just quickly have a look around just in oh, case. Yeah, fine, no <laughs> just ready? in case I find something when else. Ready, okay, no okay. Oh, I like the inside as well. The inside is nice. nice. Yeah. Inside, oh, wow. Okay, one down, one to go. Um, okay. So the other one. Mm. Right. So what type of fabrics do you have downstairs? All the curtains like ramblings fabric. Okay, all right. I might have to go downstairs for that one. Yeah, can you yeah. leave it down? Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, one more to go and find. So this time around, my sister-in-law asked me to make a kaftan for her. So I'm just going to look for the fabric to make the kaftan. Hopefully I can find something affordable because these people, they have a ton of stuff for, woof, pricey. Spoil for choice. What do I want? What do I want? This place is massive, man. You will spoil for choice. Alright, I think I'm just gonna pay for this and go look somewhere else. Uh, oh, that's my ticket. Okay, <laughs> to pay. Alright, thank okay, you. No thank you. So I pay here? It's nice, isn't it? It's beautiful. I can't wait to work with that. One second. Uh. No, 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 it's a camera. All right, let's go see where I can find more fabric. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye. Oh, it's nice and sunny today. I love it. Absolutely love it. Make sewing tutorials. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I have to buy fabric. It's quite an expensive hobby. Uh, so that will be 450, right? Yeah. We're good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. Alright, bye bye. I think I'm pretty done. I've got what I needed. And oh, look at these ones. One pound a meter. Ah. Oh my God. So this is what happens when you come into town. You will find more than you bargain for. Honestly. Like, look at this one now. It's pretty nice. One pound a meter, come on. And this. That's pretty gorgeous. If I can get on the train back now, I'll probably get get going now rather than hanging around should I stay back and have something to eat at Wagamama or should I head back home dilemma dilemma I'm just gonna head home hi Yes, I am actually, yes. So I reckon it would actually suit what you do. Let's see. Yeah. I have too many perfumes, that's why I didn't want to stop. Because oh, I know okay. I'm trying to like stop myself from like yes. you know, buying. Once you start, it's an expensive Yeah, game. yeah, and it's expensive. Yeah. So let's see, what's this? That's nice. Is this unisex? All unisex. So oh, oh. What makes us different is that we specialize in food and oil based fragrances. Yeah, oh, nice. So, like, food is pretty much becoming very popular now. That's what like I'm the, what, yeah. into now these yeah, days. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, Madam, what I'm, gonna do, I'm not even going to take too much of your time. Okay. I'm just going to show you what I normally recommend for women, and then you can decide what you Come on then. Come to the side here, Madam. So, Madam, I'm curious. You said you, you clearly have a big perfume collection here. 
What's your go-to fragrance? Uh, Okay, so I thought I'd take the early train back, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. All the trains back are cancelled, and I do not know what I need to do next. Wow. So, this is the joy of public transport. Because you just can't rely on them, honestly. You just can't. Now I don't know what to do. Um, are they gonna provide an alternative train or not? Oh my god, it's annoying. Yeah, I'm not happy about this at all. Not happy, not happy. This is why you will not find me on a public transport in this England because it's a joke. It's an actual joke. Like, there's one train that's leaving in like two hours going back to where I came from. And why they've cancelled all the trains all of a sudden, I do not know. And it's just really piss taking at the moment. Like, I should have just driven because. It was just like the inconvenience of the drive and trying to find parking. That was the reason why I chose not to drive. But I'm kind of regretting that choice now. If I had driven, I'd probably be like halfway home by now. And uh, I mean, there's no telling that the next train that is coming now wouldn't be cancelled either. But it's just a matter of waiting and see. So hopefully it doesn't get cancelled because that would just be now i've got to extend my parking because i only paid for like three hours now i've got to extend that um, to accommodate for this inconvenience uh, so yeah let's see The train's no easier for me. Okay. But it, apart from being a little bit quicker than the buses. They are quicker. Is it cheaper to travel on the bus though? Or it's are they relatively the same? The bus. It's cheaper okay. on the bus. Yeah. Like it's two pounds on the bus. Oh, is it? So, um, obviously, we'll have a look in a second to see when that is due, and it's currently due from here. So, Canuck. five past two. In about, so about eight, eight minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah. Here. So, that one is quicker than that one. Yeah. That's what you said. We might as well wait for that one, right? That's slightly slower, but yeah. this one is a bit quicker. Okay, so if that one is. So, major inconvenience, but. I think I'm here at the bus stop, so there's a bus going to Walsall, and I'm hoping. So now I've got to figure out how to get from bus station to the train station. It's just a major inconvenience, and of all days that I decided to come to town, this happened. So apparently there's fire on the track, somewhere on the tracks, so that's why they've had to cancel all the trains. Um, so, and then from the train station to this bus station, it wasn't an easy walk. It took about 10, 15 minutes to get here. And, uh, and there's no even direct train to Walsall, but it's just... Uh, oh, there are some buses over there going straight to Walsall, I guess. But I just never know. Um, so let me check. Let me check the details. So, X51. Okay. 
so you are here x51 great bar priority claims with great bar warsaw 36 minutes so 36 minutes that's not bad and then so yeah. and then oh so where's the warsaw one let me have warsaw that's 61 minutes that's long So that one is, oh, that's even longer. Gosh. But that's, that's the right one then, I guess. X51, okay. So, I'm on the bus. And hopefully this one will get me back home with all the trains being cancelled. Yeah, should take about 40 minutes. All right, so I'm back in Walsall. Um, this is the bus station, but I don't even know where I am now because this driver just went round and round and round and round. Now I don't even know how to find my way back to the train station. Anyways, Google Maps to the rescue. Public transport is just mad. Especially in this UK. It's like the most difficult things, like you're going for an extreme sport. Um, if it was a lot easier, I'll use it more often. But no. UK public transport is just, it's pants. Like, it's the ghetto. It's, oh, it's nothing but stress. And for me, just trying to avoid the stress of parking, I've had to endure the stress of train cancellations, getting on the bus, figuring out where I'm going, how to get back to the bus stand, to the Warsaw station, to get my car, extend my parking, because, because of the delay, I've had to now extend my parking online, so that's additional cost. So, yeah, public transport is not worth it, honestly. But at least I know where I am now, so mm -hmm. just need to. Oh, I can't stand it. So next time maybe it will just be easier to take the bus because they rarely get they rarely get cancelled, but the trains are notorious for being getting cancelled. So at least I know where the buses are now. If I want to go to the town centre, um, yeah, I'm going that way to the town centre. Um, might be easier to just go on the bus, but I, from what someone said to me today, and they're also cheaper. So, yeah. Oh God. Anyways, in a nutshell, don't ever take public transport in the UK if you can avoid it. Stressful. Not fun. Wow. What a day. Like what a day. Honestly, like this is one of the reasons why I refuse to take public transport in the UK because it's a lot more of an asshole than anything else, if I'm honest. And to think that I was just going to go to town today, um, take the train because I didn't want to have to deal with the hassle of finding parking in the city centre because Birmingham city centre is now something else. So I thought, okay, I'll just take the train. I'll leave my train here at the train station and then take the train down to city centre, which sh shouldn't have been uh, you know, a difficult thing because Warsaw to Birmingham is not that far. So the train usually takes about half an hour. Anywho, so I got to Birmingham okay, but now coming back, <laughs> man, only for me to get back to the train station in Birmingham. And then they said all trains coming back to this side are cancelled. Why? And... So, so all, all the trains got cancelled um, due to fire somewhere on the tracks, somewhere along the tracks, whatever, whatever the situation might be. And it's always so funny because every little thing like this, the trains will get cancelled. They are so quick to cancel these trains and they don't care about the inconvenience um, that it causes to people. And I understand fire, yeah, things like that do happen. But from what I've heard of people using trains in this UK, they do tend to get cancelled a lot. 
and and I, and I feel like they just need to do better because if you're trying to encourage people to use public transport, then make it easy. Make it easy. If it's easy, I'll take it. But no, like it's the most difficult thing. So now, what happened was I had to find my way to uh, a bus station that would bring me back. And given that I'm the kind of person like I'm, I don't use public transport. I had zero idea of where to go. And even at the train station, when I was asking one of the officials, like if I was going back to Warsaw, where would I go? Where would I take a bus from? But fortunately, there was a guy with me that was traveling in the same direction and offered to show me the way. So he was the one that took me to the bus station and it took us about maybe 15 minutes walk away from Birmingham train station to even get to that bus stop. So yeah, and the bus took about, it just went round and round, honestly, like it's the longest thing. Um, but I had to extend my parking here as well because of all of this mess. So I'm back here now in Warsaw and at the car park and I'm just, yeah, I'm just sitting in the car and I'm just going to head back home now. And yeah, next time um, I think I'm just going to drive and just find parking online before going. So public transport in the UK, honestly, it needs to be better. It needs to be better. It's, it's just... You go to other countries, you see that we're just behind and they make it look like, oh, they're doing amazing work. No, you guys are not. Like, you're shit. I'm sorry, excuse my language. Like, it's really ridiculous. When you go to other countries, you see how seamless and how affordable these transports are. And it just makes you wonder what they are doing in England. And yeah, generally so. Because even when it comes to like um, airport links, like... <laughs> That's gotta be one of the most challenging things to do in the UK. Like, say you want to take the bus to the airport, forget about it. Or even the trains, train, the time, the timings, probably the earliest. You, do you know what? Let me just leave it there because yeah, I've had a long day. I'm I'm annoyed, but I'm okay. I'm here, so that's what matters. And that's another lesson learned. Um, might as well just take the bus. Don't rely on the trains. The trains are rubbish. They will cancel on you. So buses are more reliable, I guess. So maybe next time if I'm going to town, I'll just take the bus. Bear in mind that it will take longer than trains, but that's okay. I'd rather um, it takes a little bit longer than for it to get cancelled and now I'm having to like figure out how to get back home. So anywho, so that's my way. That's my rant. I, yeah, yeah. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I found what I went to town for anyway. I found the fabric that I needed and um, I'm happy about that so it's not entirely a wasted day so that's good right so until next time take care guys